In this video, I wanna go over the difference between a binomial squared and a binomial cubed. And the way that we're gonna do that is good old fashioned multiplication. There actually is some shortcuts for a binomial squared as far as a binomial cubed, but I'll have that down for another video down below. So in this case, when we're looking at multiplication, we need to remember we're not thinking this. You cannot take your power and distribute it across terms that are separated by addition and subtraction. Furthermore, this is not eight cubed plus 27. I know a lot of you guys don't wanna do the work, so I totally get it. You wanna go ahead and revert to something quick and easy, and especially if you're taking like a multiple choice test and you see that as an answer choice, it's just so easy. It's like right there, it's like, ah, maybe I can just do it and then I don't have to do the work. But in this video, I just want to remind you of what exactly the expansion is gonna look like and how they can defer. So remember, two x plus three squared means two x plus three times a two x plus three. So when we have a binomial times a binomial, we can apply distributive property. You can think of it as like FOIL, whatever works for you, whatever you remember. In this case, I am just going to go ahead, I'll, I'll follow FOIL. So we'll do two x times two x, the first two terms. So that's gonna give me a four x squared. Then I'm gonna do my outer terms. A two x times three is going to be a positive six x. Then I'll do my inner terms. Three times two x is again, another positive six x. And three times three, which is my last two terms, is going to give me a positive nine. Now, six x plus six x, those are common terms. So that's gonna give me a 12 x. So four x squared plus 12 x plus nine. Right? Now, when we look into cubed, you're like, well, how much worse can it be, Mr. McLogan? Like, you're just raising it to one more power. Well, let's go and see. So two x cubed, two x plus three cubed, represents 2x plus 3 times a 2x plus 3 times a 2x plus 3. Whew, all right. Well, nice thing about this is we already know a 2x plus 3 times a 2x plus 3, right? That's a 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Now, all we simply need to do is multiply the 2x plus 3 times the 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Now, my kind of general rule is you could definitely go ahead and apply distributive property here. I don't think that's really any problem with that. However, I will state that once we start doing multiplication above binomials, I start to see mistakes from students. So a lot of times when I'm teaching or a lot of times when I'm even doing this on my own, I will just create a box. Because remember, when you are applying multiplication, you're basically applying the product of a rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one binomial and I'm gonna put it along the side of a rectangle. Then for the other binomial, or for the other expression, in this case it's a trinomial, I'm gonna create three columns. So this will represent the four x squared plus the 12 x plus the nine. Now all I'm simply gonna do is multiply the length times which for each box. It's the exact same thing if I was gonna do like distributive property, two x times four x squared. It's just sometimes it gets messy where students write these and then they put them in the wrong thing, they write them down incorrectly. I like the box because not only does it organize things, but also it's very quick to like double check your work and you can always find what you're multiplying to make sure you did it correctly. Because believe it or not, you're gonna make mistakes. I've made multiple mistakes, but it's really nice to know, oh, let me just double check. Oh, that's where I forgot to add the x or I forgot to do it as x cubed. It happens. So 2x times 4x squared is going to be an 8x cubed. 2x, right, that's going to be your height, times 12x is a 24x. 2x times 9 is going to be a 18x. And then over here, then you're going to do the 3 times 4x squared is a 12x squared. 3 times 12x is going to be 3, 24, I remember that, 24, 36x. And then you have a three times nine, which is going to be a positive seven, 27. Now, the other thing I love about the box method is if you look at these diagonals, that actually on the diagonals, we have like terms. So a lot of times if you're using FOIL or you're using distributive property, what do you do? You align things kind of above each other. But again, students will make mistakes there and it can sometimes create a mess. So now we can just write out our finalized solution. So I have an eight X cubed, 12 plus 24 is going to be a 36. And you can see, you can see, I made a mistake, right? These are supposed to be like terms. I wrote an X there and then, but this is X times X, so that's being X squared. See how I checked my work? I swear I didn't, I, I didn't plan on doing that. So this is going to be a positive 36 X squared. These are going to add up. That's going to be 36 plus 18 is going to be a 54 X and then plus a 27. So a binomial times a binomial is gonna give me a trinomial and you can see here a binomial cubed is now gonna give me a polynomial with four terms. That's the difference, the long way. Again, if you wanna see the short way, go and check out the video down below. Cheers.